So I'm here in Brasov, Romania, and it's January 3rd, and this is already my second country of the year, and my first new country, or first country I've never visited before. And I'm excited to be in Romania, even though I only have six days here. I'm in Brasov for three days. I've just arrived on the overnight train from Budapest. I have uh, um, a friend that's gonna meet up with me tomorrow and maybe go shooting in some different locations. Today, I'm gonna go get some good food, I think, and then maybe hike the hill behind me, hike the mountain behind me, um, and get some overview shots of Brasov. So let's go get some food, maybe shoot some time lapse, and then climb a mountain. Let's do it. So I decided to spend my afternoon here in Brasov hiking and hiking up to a peak above the city called Tampa and it's pretty tough. I've been at it for about 30 minutes and I think I probably got about 15 more, maybe 20 more. And I don't know if I'll get anything out of it from a photography standpoint because it's pretty treed. Um, but regardless, it's been absolutely fantastic to get outside, do some hiking, get some outdoors in me. Europe quite often can get a bit stale, can get a bit dull, and it can get a little bit urban. You spend a lot of time in cities, you spend a lot of time walking through streets and photographing architecture. Whew. So getting out here and climbing and sweating a bit and seeing snow and seeing trees and just seeing nature has been absolutely fantastic. So even if I don't get any shots, it's been definitely worth it. But that being said, I want some shots. So let's continue to the peak and see if we can get some. So this will do, this will definitely do. This is, I guess, ruins of an old castle up here and it makes for the perfect view. This is exactly what I was hoping for when I came up here. Uh, I could not have asked for better. I've got the, the plaza right down there. I've got some nice leading lines and then I've got the new city behind it. I've also got views that way, although they're not really that spectacular, but absolutely stunning up here. I've got like an hour and a half until, until sunset or maybe a little bit less. So I'm just gonna enjoy the views um, and shoot some time-lapse on the GoPro from up here and wait for the light to come down. So a friend of mine came and met me here in Brasov and we spent all day driving around um, the area outside of Brasov. So we were first um, at Bran Castle, we were inside that castle, and then we went exploring around some of the valley as well. And now I'm just waiting for the sunlight to go down and I'm going to shoot Bran Castle from the distance. We've got an amazing sky right now, so hopefully the photos come out just as amazingly. And yeah, it's a beautiful place. We're gonna stick around here until the blue hour hits and then and then head on back to Brasov for the night. So 
It's been a good day exploring Bran, and uh, yeah, let's do some more photography here of the castle. So sunset at Brandon Castle there was really amazing. We got just a fantastic sky. It was a little bit hard shooting straight into the sunset, um, but we made it work and it was beautiful. Such a cool location to shoot for sure. Um, I got up this morning and I shot sunrise. Well, not sunrise, I shot the blue hour at the main square. And today we're off exploring more of Transylvania here um, in a car. I'm not exactly sure where we're going because my buddy is just road tripping me and I'm just gonna follow the lead but apparently we're going about two hours away from Brasov here to another city another town and we've got a bunch of stuff planned or he's got a bunch of stuff planned and I have no idea what we're about to do but it should be a good day here in Transylvania this is the third day here and I'm absolutely loving it so let's continue exploring So before I left this morning, I mentioned to you that I didn't know where I was going, and we ended up going on a day trip to a place called Sigishvara, which is like a two hour drive from Brashov here. And it's a really cool town. It's a place I'd never heard of, and it's absolutely um, really cool and photogenic, even though we just stayed around in the middle of the day and shot daytime images. That's actually um, where Dracula, where Vlad the Impala, Vlad the Impala, making him sound like a gangster, Vlad the Impala, 
and Paul Lur was born, um, and we saw his house where he was born. We uh, went up the church tower or one of the towers and got some cool views of the city and had a good time today. It saw some some nice things, and Romania has been really cool. Um, after Sigishvada, we actually went driving down some really, really back roads um, through some some Roma camps. Roma, I think here in, in Romania, they just call them gypsies through some gypsy camps and into a really rural village where we stopped at a fortified church for a couple minutes. And yeah, it was a really cool day, a really good day. And that is it for Brashov and Transylvania. So this episode has not just been Brashov as I expected. Thanks to my buddy Valentin, who has been awesome at taking me around Transylvania and showing me Brashov, Bran, and Sigishvada. So a big thanks to Valentin for, for showing me around. It's been absolutely fantastic here in Brashov. Um, next destination is Bucharest. I've just got one day in Bucharest, so I won't be doing too much there. And then I'm off to Sofia, Bulgaria, and then to Greece. So a lot of really cool stuff still coming on the channel in the coming days, weeks, and months. So I hope you stay tuned. I hope you stay subscribed, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.